Okay, there I am. I came back to this, and I, uh, yeah, uh, play. Wardenville, surrounded by the inner sea, the sprawling volcanic island of Wardenville dominates the northern Morrowind. Okay. Someone, we need help. I need help as well. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, that's not what I. Oh, <laughs> it's been well. It's been more than one day, but still, not many days ago when I played this, and I already forgot about buttons and all. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, because this is two hundred. I can. Yeah. Okay. I have way too much stuff, probably all useless. As you can see, they don't cost almost anything. I really... I really remember that? Really? I mean, I remember that. I was trying to sell this, some of these things. Ooh. Perhaps I should. Is this like actual Oblivion or Skyrim? If I'll just eat something, I'll know it's how it's gonna affect, let's see eat one uh, I can't I think well that's weird okay I'm gonna sell something Oh, there's that house. By the way, I thought the normal Elder Scrolls is uh, free. What the hell is that? Some kind of transport? Cool. I mean, that's what I think that is. Yeah, I'm not sure is this um, Morrowind, you know, Thing. I can't explain. Or is this still intro? Halls of abrogation. Okay. What was my quest? Journal. Nope. Journal. That doesn't help me much. I don't have quest thing. Oh, never mind. I do. There is something on it. And here. Let's go to speak to someone. That's probably a good idea. Hi. There's an armager injured on the road outside Sedanine. So much blood. They they need help. Oh. I'm not exactly sure. The buoyant armager was accompanying Canon Valasa on a mission for Lord Vivek, but something terrible must have happened. Well. Canon Valasa sent me to find help. She's on the road just outside of Sedanine. Will you help them? Sure. Do I see the map? Oh yeah, it's just so huge. So it's there. Food and something. Hello. Do you like firm, juicy tomatoes? Oh, what? I've been told that mine are the best in the city. Oh, I guess because your orc, you would sound like that. I was like, oh, it's a pretty beautiful woman. And then she sounds like, well, that. Oh, it already tells you what it does. Alcohol. Cool. I don't need that. Oh, 
Well, I'm gonna keep that. Wow. Also that. Crafting in the North style. Some of this, this stuff seems really cool. Like this. They probably are not. What? This letter invited me to Wardenfell. Well, good. I'm gonna sell that. Am I using this? No. They are totally the same. Why did I collect those? I wish there would be some reason to collect some, you know, loot from the world. But as I see, there is no reason, at least for getting money. I'm not gonna use daggers. Or moles. I'm gonna give the sword though. Don't need bows. Or stuffs pretty much, no. We're gonna keep some shields. If for some reason I'm gonna change to one-handed fighting. Don't need magicka. Okay. Oh, I had that! Solvent of Proficience, whatever, whatever that is. Ah. Old, old, I don't know the trench. These are worse. Better. Red dry beer. Increases my stamina, huh? Hmm. Why? It's your strong box, for some reason. Why do I carry that? Okay. At least now I have... What? Okay, a little bit more room. That was boring as hell. Okay. Let's go. Oh, are those like chickens? Not dragons. Oh, damn, river troll. I wanna kill one of those. What's up? Forgive me, Outlander. But I have enough to deal with. I'm just a simple tribunal priest. And the trouble at the ancestral tomb was too much for even our buoyant armager to deal with. I have failed, Lord Vivek, and left a colleague alone at the tomb. Don't you worry, I'm here. Lord Vivek sent the three of us to seek guidance at the Andrano ancestral tomb. We were attacked when we got there, and our guard was seriously hurt. I barely got her to safety. But we failed to complete the mission Lord Vivek bestowed upon us. Oh, I totally heard our god was seriously hurt. <laughs> no, never mind, that makes more sense. Okay. Canon Levul. He remained behind after we retreated from the tomb. I know he wants to get back inside and ask Lord Vivek's questions. But there's no way he can get past the Daedra or ask the questions on his own. May the three grant him wisdom. By the three! First a wounded armager, now this! Asura? By dawn and dusk, evil creeps through the shadows of my beloved Vardenfell. 
But an outlander arrives to aid my people, just as I have foreseen. Oh? You mean me? What do they mean? What? What happened? Merciful Azura, the mother soul spoke through you. It's a miracle. Yeah, I know Azura from the Oblivion and Skyrim. Lord Vivek, protect me. That was Azura, the queen of the night sky. And you, she spoke directly to you, Outlander. I'm surprised the Daedric Prince would risk Lord Vivek's wrath to proclaim a prophecy. But she did say you were here to aid us. The Daedric Prince Azura possessed that woman and spoke through her. I've heard of such occurrences, of course, but to witness such an event. She said evil creeps through the land. I wonder if it has anything to do with what we saw at the tomb. Well, pretty much for sure, yeah. Uh, I don't care really. I want to know we I'm missing. We saw guidance in a matter that concerns Lord Vivek. I received specific questions to ask while Levul concentrated on summoning his ancestor. The Daedra ruined those plans when they fell upon Urnsi and we were forced to flee. Vile creatures from oblivion. You hear about an odd ghost or a nest of vampires, but never Daedra. Please, if they're still there, they'll rip Canon Levul apart. He's definitely not a warrior. Just look at what they did to the buoyant armager. Do I really want to know what they did to him? Well, for sure. The buoyant armagers comprise one of the military orders of the Tribunal Temple. They seek to emulate Lord Vivek's deeds through actions and words. Poor Ornsi. Those monsters went straight for her. Her blood flowed like lava from Red Mountain. You speak so dearly. Where are you from? <laughs> Children learn of Red Mountain before they even taste Flynn. The mountain sits at the center of Vardenfell, periodically rumbling like a sleeping nix shaking its leg. Lately, however, it seems to be waking from its long slumber. Yeah, I know about this and I don't care about this, so let's go. Okay, what do I have to... What? Okay, so this is my quest, so why is that? And how long? Where is this? Can't even see it. Oh yeah, I can run! Games. Okay, who are you? Dull clawed pieces of... How could this happen, Falura? Ah! Or you sound a little funny. Ah, ah, yes. Hello. What are you doing out in the middle of nowhere? Going for a walk? This one often walks. Around here, I mean. I don't know what you're talking about, man. You're scared of trolls? Nervous? Me? Ha! <laughs> Do not make this one laugh. Halin here is just... Just horrible. Bandits kicked this one out of his home and stole his crops. Halindir is just a simple farmer, you see. They will make me a starving pauper. Well, damn. You will help? Oh, bless you. This one planted his crops in what a cavern nearby. Zane Sipilu, please, retrieve my notes and poison the water. Without proper irrigation, the plants will wither. It pains me to kill them, but these bandits must not prosper. Is Chain Sipilu like a swear word? Oh, I don't even know. You are a true hero, Walker. A brave and noble warrior. Falora and I are forever in your debt. Oh. So it's your home. <laughs> okay, okay, now I understand. So you can ask some... Other questions for lore or something? I'm... I wish I had more time. Right now I don't, so... Okay. 
I think I'm gonna do this one and then for your home quest. Oh yeah. Why is this lower? Oh, because it is lower. Oh my goodness. Something was better though. Yeah, these ones. Equip. Oh, and they're pretty much cooler as well. I wonder can I carry too heavy stuff in this game? This is same. So I wanna just see is it cooler? <laughs> no. It's not. Not that this is very cool either, but okay. Hmm. Let's be ready. Hi. Oh, we'll take that. Oh, that's like a Balrog thing. You know, when he whipped the candle. <laughs> That sounds weird. Oh wow! Silver can for gold, exactly for one gold. Okay, so if I'll hold this, yeah, it's gonna kick him faster and what? Oh! That probably wasn't too much smart thing to do. There you go. Burn! And get whipped. Then for a sudden can roof. Well, I can try. Oh, you little... What's this? Runestone. Uh huh? No idea what happened. There's a fish. Or maybe it's not a fish, but some kind of alligator. You know, I really like to collect all like butterflies and you know, what the hell is that? But as I saw in the store that they don't sell for anything, it's kind of takes away a little bit. You know, there's no reason to. Unless you know what you're crafting. Okay. Oh! Oh, that's pet, I think. I can't let Lord Vivek down. Are Those you? Monsters. Yeah, you it's are. It's too dangerous. What am I... Did Canon Valasar send you? Oh, she did, didn't she? That means she made it to Sadenin. Vivek, be praised. Will you help me complete my mission? It would be sacrilege if I don't enter my family's tomb and make Lord Vivek's inquiries. Mm, sure. As the saints declare, the tribunal always provides. We'll need to be cautious, however. Is that a wolf? Deidre invaded the tomb. Makes it hard to talk to one's ancestors while monsters try to eat you. I'll also need your help when we reach the summoning chamber. Take this scroll with Lord Vivek's inquiries, while I summon forth my ancestor spirit and concentrate on maintaining the connection. You must ask the questions. He insists we use the exact phrasing. We can go inside when you're ready. I am ready. We're really going to do this. <sighs> I wish I knew how Daedra got into my family tomb, but I'm sure you can handle them. At least you know they're there. They ambushed poor Armager Urnsi. Took her completely by surprise. Follow me. I'll open the door. 
So already fighting the Daedra. Follow me, but keep an eye out for At level Daedra. four. That was just a dog. Antrana Ancestral Tomb. Members of House Ridoran for generations. Careful. The creatures attacked as soon as we entered the Hall of Remembrance. I don't think we have much problems. Are you an enemy? Oh no! You're the guy. Sure. Argonian. Has anyone fed that thing lately? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm finding stuff. But who said that? Sound like somebody for, from in here or something. Hmm. Oh. Is this blood? Well, for one gold, sure. <laughs> I think that's useless. Oh, hello. Why don't you do anything, man? Nice. Oh yeah, that's just a useless ring. Bad Lux? Has anyone fed that thing lately? Who the hell? Uh, I guess. Sure. So many bones. Hello. I can use pretty quickly my skills again. Oh yeah. I didn't even try to loot those bodies. I don't know why that didn't occur in my mind. Hmm. Nice. Battle mechanics is a little weird to me yet so far. Come on! Oh! Maybe you too can take some fire damage. So if you're farming for gold, just kill things, I guess. Much more faster than actually looting. I don't see why would I take that. There's no stats. Oh, nice. This used to be such a peaceful place. I came here as a young acolyte to meditate. Oh, damn. So are these guys Daedra? They are using some dark magic. But they doesn't seem to be. I mean, they are pretty weak. They are. 
Damn. Donate those. This is probably very useless to loot all these things. That's a huge book. Did I research this? Yeah. Or no. Seems like other players just run through this. They don't really care. Okay, now I'm getting stuff that actually sells. What is that noise? It creeps me out. Nothing. Dude, you have a cool tomb, but it's pretty useless. Hmm. For ten? For sure. Oh, the mage. Oh, that sound was cool. Oh no, there's two of them? Let me loot you. Oh. Obsidian. It sounds cool. Process. Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to take that. The master promised treasures, but all I see is dust. Oh. It's not my fault. Yeah. So, okay, Tarrant. Come. Okay, these two are your minions. Pretty much so. Okay, your master died. You are gonna accompany him in hell. Ow. Oh, I liked that animation. It was like holding his throat. Okay. There we are. I'm so fast though. It's a little weird. Can summon my ancestor. I don't know is that a good thing or bad. I don't really even know you. And considering this place, you haven't done everything so good. What is this? Whoa! Oh, I can dodge? Wow, that's useful. 
Oh. What the? Nice. The summoning chamber. I'll call forth my ancestor, then you can ask Vivex questions. I'm gonna guess this is gonna go bad. Oh, I didn't mean. Been disturbed enough by those filthy Daedra. Why do you summon me, descendant? My Lord Vivek has inquiries that only you can answer, my lady. My companion will present them with your permission. I'm just a sec. Very well. Ask Vivek's questions. In a second, girl. Just wait up. Loading your grave. There we go. Oh, never mind. I'm still checking. Oh, damn it. Oh, you're not an enemy. Okay. What's up? Ask the warrior poet's questions, Outlander. Ah, Lord Vivek always had a way with words. Tell him to rest assured. The heart remains safe. I wonder why that concerns him. Ask the remaining questions as my time here is short. Well, I don't know about that either. I mean, I think you're eternal. An enemy of old, yes. But not the one that Vivek presumes. Sotha Seal imagined multiple scenarios and contemplated endless solutions. He even experimented with his divinity, drawing energy to study before returning it. Loss will come, he foresaw, but not until the collapse of the temple. Now, back to sleep. And stay to sleep. Goodbye. I hope that's what Lord Vivek needed. Let's talk outside. Sword? Didn't even say what kind of sword. Hat. That's a hell of a man. I'm just gonna take everything though. Yeah, these guys have looted the place, and you have a very cool hat. Yeah, nothing to see here, really. I guess. Oh, this is okay. I'm yeah. The master promised treasures. <laughs> well, that's what you got. Okay, man, was it really so important? Thank you for helping me complete my task. Now, I need to return to Vivek City. Have you been there? <laughs> it's amazing. Ziggurats rising out of the water, the moonlit hanging in the sky above. Hey, you should meet me there so I can introduce you to Lord Vivek. Oh, just between us, I understood neither the questions asked nor the answers received. Oh, not that I expected you. Some things aren't meant for mortal minds. That's another reason for you to come to the Vex City. To help me explain what my ancestors said. Well, that was useless. Excellent. Uh, I just need to make a quick stop in Seydanin to check on my original traveling companions. When you get to the Vex City, head right to the palace and I'll meet you there. I know that Lord Vivek will want to reward you for assisting. Oh, I'm totally interested in that. I'll be along shortly. 
When you get to Vivek City, head directly for Lord Vivek's palace. Once there, I'll make introductions and we can tell the warrior poet everything we've learned. Sure. Of course. As I said, the tribunal consists of our three living gods, Vivek, Almalexia, and Sothasil. They lead us in spiritual matters and rule over Dunmi society as god monarchs of the Dark Elves. I serve Vivek, but honor the entire tribunal. Probably not, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. Unfortunately, no. The Dunmer houses bow to the tribunal. But the savage Ashlanders refuse to acknowledge their divinity. The heretics never allow themselves to be assimilated into the great houses. Instead, they hold to primitive superstitions. Sure, okay. I don't know why I asked. What's that? Cause to recall that much? 38? Wow. Okay, I can do that. But before that, I'm gonna do this. Is this really where the game starts? In Morrowind? Or is this some kind of DLC what we are able to play now? Because I would really like to see the actual... I'm gonna scare the dudes. Oh, it's just a fishing hole. So there were fishies. But yeah. Is this how the always Elder Scrolls Online oh, Elder Scrolls Online begins? Or is this DLC? I I don't know. I hope not. Let's try to take this guy on. It doesn't tell his Level, so this will be interesting. Hi. It didn't even take damage. I did. Yeah, I can beat that. Whoop. I wonder how big my range is. Ow. Oh shit. My timing isn't really correct. Come on girl, I don't need help. See? Grease. Ah, useless. And what are you? I don't want to hurt you. Whoops. Okay, that was the button to take my... Oh, damn. Sort of way. And that, that's a huge mushroom right there. Okay. I probably could ask her about questions, but um, I don't want to. Probably useless anyway. By the way, what is this? Delve. Find notes and some toxic. This is pretty cool, actually. Okay, let's see what I can do. What? Nice. I'm gonna choose those, of course. Stamina might be good. But I haven't really run out of that. Or my magicka. So let's go with the HP. Mm, what? 
How do I confirm? Oh, there. Oh, next is level 20, 30, and 42. Seems cool. Beat her and hard. I seriously don't know what to take now. Oh, hello. I didn't even know this. Sure. By the way, does this choose this for what I'm using right now? Like, I'm using now 200 so it gives me these abilities. What the hell is the world? That magic damage, wow. Let's do uppercut. <clears throat> do you hear something? Maybe there are secrets. <laughs> that was just a bug. Not that kind of bug, but you know, flying bug. Oh, hello. Nice. That was the uppercut. What it said? Interrupt. How do I interrupt? Damn, damn. They can do damage? This is slow. The hell? Oh, hello. I just went underground. I'm feeling I'm really bad at the battle so far. Nix Hound Brawler. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, 
Oh shit, dude. Okay. Wow. This place. Oh, he thought he also that those were enemies. <laughs> I thought the same thing. Totally did. Wow, this place, really, this is so cool. Nobody is looting, really. Even if we are not in the party, it is pretty cool that you can see other players do stuff. Hello. I wonder how the XP will go. Hmm. Is it just random? Like you get this much XP and you get this much... Okay, I want to see if anything here. No. Okay. So I guess they are kiting all the enemies in the one spot and kills them all. Dungeon damage dealer. Oh, and Grease, really? There's gotta be something in it. Some of this. No. Fine. Ooh, that's cool. I wish the Raiders had graphics like this. Wishful thinking. Is there a fall damage? I bet there are. Hmm. Black Dart Bruiser. Oh. We're fine. Oh, hello. You have a shovel. Is that really the weapon you want to choose to fight it? I guess. I'm not gonna even bother with those. If I don't need to. Oh, damn. I don't know, do she want my help? Probably not. So I'm gonna let her fight all of, all by herself. By the way, she's doing fine. No damage. If that's her HP. Not totally sure. Poison the crab. I guess she's doing so... So I should... What did I just take? Let's see. Quest. And the crop is...
Come on. I can't pause in the notes. Really? Where's the crap? Damn, T. Oh, I actually gotta go somewhere. But I wanna fight this first. Seriously, it didn't take any damage. I would like to have fight alone, but I guess I'm not. Seriously, I can't take anything because of these? Fine. Can I now? Shit! And next to poison some crops. I'm just sick. Sick. Maximum stamina. Yeah. This is a lot better. Oh, why did I not choose to use these though? Yeah. What? Okay. Doing stuff? How are these words? Oh, they're for the magic users. Roger that. Something is happening behind me. It's okay. Oh, were they trying to... Okay. I really like the mud crabs. <laughs> they bring some nostalgia for me. They're cute. Even the ones at the legendary difficulty in Skyrim, when I thought I was a uh, really high level and all, uh, there was one mud crab who one shot me. That really. Yeah. Did it like... Oh no! I'm evil. I shouldn't have done that. I know the point is probably kill Tetra, but still, damn. We shouldn't... Kill innocents. No matter what the reason. Ow! Shit! She went crazy! Come on now! Am I this bad, really? Wow. 
Wow. Not gonna... Ow! Okay, you need to spam those. Roger that. Oh, go! Nice. This is almost like tap target targeting, which I don't like really. Ow. Hmm. Running animation is a little weird. Ow. You it licked me. Oh, I have whole <laughs> forest behind me. And away I go. A moment, please. What are you wearing? Okay. You made it. Good. We have a great deal to talk about in a short period of time. Sure. In a clearing to the southeast, but that can wait. I trust you've seen what Hallinger and I were growing in there. Moon sugar. In its raw form. It's a crude narcotic, but if you refine it, it becomes something truly odious. Skuma. I had to be sure he could do it. Moon sugar is temperamental. No one's been able to grow it here in Vardenfell until Hallinger. I need you to take the notes you found to Captain Beckus in Seder Nim. Tell him everything. He'll handle the rest. So is the moon sugar like a drug? And Skuma is like a cool drug. <laughs> I don't really understand. It's complicated. Well, I sure. The House Redwin's Narcotics Oath Bureau. I, I made some very serious mistakes. If I brought this tip to Captain Bethis, he would ignore me. But he has no reason to distrust you. Please do this for me, Sarah. Do I really want to know? Oh, this one I do want to know. If you'd ever taken it, you'd know. Skuma is a powerful hallucinogen, addictive. Deadly and cheap. Lethal overdoses are routine in Morrowind. Once it's got its hooks in you, you'll do anything to get it. Steal, rape, kill, whatever. Shit. It's weird that even in the fantasy game there are still drugs. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. He's developed a method to grow vast quantities of moon sugar in Vardenfell. That's a dangerous skill. Too dangerous. Can you imagine what would happen if a Kimona Tong Kran family got hold of his notes? No. Harlinger is no Daedric prince, but his work could be just as destructive. Please, just do the right thing. Well, what the hell? I'd rather not discuss it. Suffice it to say that the skooma trade offers many dark incentives. Especially for undercover officers. It's easy to cross the line. Too easy. Hopefully this arrest and seizure will help me make amends. Even I listened to dialogue. I still... Oh, that's how you do that. I'm still so lost in the story. I thought I was cleansing the cave for Daedra, but there was some 
drug conspiracy? I don't know. Ibox. Ugh. You are kind to check up on Hollings here, but this one is fine. Again, thank you. What? How could she? Why would she do that? Halingir is no threat to anyone. Really? Skuma? No, no, no. Halingir does not make skuma. My sister and cousin were both addicts. This one would never make such a thing. I only grow moon sugar, Walker. For personal use, you see. You would not ruin a life over such a thing, would you? Hey. Hollinger has huge appetites. A little sugar in the morning to start the day, a little in the evening to soothe the soul. Moon sugar is a beautiful thing, my friend. The Riddlethar's gift to all Kashit. Is the pursuit of pleasure really so bad? Oh shit, I have to choose. Who do I trust? This guy who's weird as hell? Even he seems kind. But if he is drug addict, as he, sh he or she, I don't know, said? Then I shouldn't be letting him continue. But I don't know that chick either. I don't want to lie, but I don't want to do this either. Can I just say goodbye? Damn, I have to choose. You are kind to yeah, 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 School. yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Hollinger has huge appetite. <sighs> A little sugar in the morning. Well, let's the lie then. Hollinger is glad you agree. This one just needs. To it needs to stop, man. It needs to stop. By the way, I'm sorry that I lied to you. Already. What is the S? I mean South, yeah, of course. Whoop. Hi, man. Not now, citizen. I'm up to my armpits in problems today. You sure? I heard a catchy name, Halinger. Halinger? I thought him a clueless sugar sop. If he's managed to grow moon sugar here in Vardenfell, he's more cunning than he seems. Oh, great. Make no mistake, we'll find him. The tribunal thanks you for your help, Outlander. <gasps> but this that's pretty good. Did you need something else? A skooma baron you'd like to report, perhaps? No? Then move along. What? Why are you dick to me? For Lura, that skooma fiend can barely put her trousers on straight, let alone conduct an investigation like this. You must be mistaken. You are a dick, sir. Difficult to say. If I had my way, she'd be hanging from the nearest tree. I'll pass it on to my contacts in the Oath Bureau. I will be honest, though. Her chances are very slim. So are you. Well. So, for right now... Wait a minute. What did I do? Ah. Let's do that again. I'm still baffled what this is. Hmm. Well, let's sell something. Don't give me any trouble. I won't. I remember you. Ooh, somebody else is here as well. 
Let's see what I do need and what I don't need. Okay. Okay. I only recently arrived and I'm still Yeah, sure. Blueprint. Fresh shelf block. I wish if there is like an auction shop. Oh, yeah, I need to repair stuff as well. Okay. I would really sell these for there. I don't know. What is make level 10 potion? I'm just going to get rid of everything I don't plan to use. Even I would like to keep them. Oh, that's that. Okay. Wow, that's expensive. Okay, I think we're done there. Then, let's see. That a bless. Oh. Okay. What the hell is that? Leaf Strider. Oh, it's gonna be dead. Easy. Whoa, what the fuck? Nice. The one I needed. Well, I don't need to. Do I need it? But I want it. Oh, dodging doesn't really work. I wish it would be one. You know.
just one button to smash. And it would roll, not twice. I'm really bad to do that. See? Oh, shit. Oh. The burn damage. I could sell that. Is there still one somewhere? Yeah, definitely. Hey, Strider. Time to die. Oh shit! I just can't roll! No, I can't roll! little guy. Sorry about this. Nothing. Oh, shit. Did I kill your father or mother? God, sorry about that. That's where I need to go. There are so much cool places, like this cave. I wonder what's in there. That's disgusting. It's almost like it's need to die. And it wants to. Wait a minute. Take rubbing? What? Oh, I'm gonna take this though. Nice. Sure. A little late night swimming. Oh, the hill? Is that supposed to be there? Just random floating huge rock. That's not good place to be when the city is right there. Unless they are using it for magic like building or something. Who knows? Who knows? So much stuff. I'm not gonna bother with these quests yet. Just gonna try to go to the main quest. This doesn't really feel like Oblivion right now. Or a Skyrim. Well, of course, it's Morrowind, but still, that kind of building. It looks like a Mayan building. That in real life I would be so scary to be here now. And I wouldn't stay for too long, you know. Dude, you're cool as hell. Don't mind me. Is 
Is this like a main city? Probably is. Oh, I can play like this as well. Cool. Please be back. Very cool. This is the person who helped me at the tomb, my lord. Lord Vivek, we don't need the help of this outlander. Oh, hush, Arch Cannon Tarvis. Outlanders have their usefulness, and this one intrigues me. As you say. I'll be in my office if you need me. Why in every office there is one Step dick? Forward, friend of Lebu. Well, I am. Let us speak. Canon Level says you helped him in his mission. As I have written, the one who helps my ally becomes my friend. Despite the Arch Cannon's concerns, I greet you with sincerity and pose a simple question. Will you assist us further, Outlander? Sure, but what the hell are you? I have ordinators and armagers at my disposal. Vast armies of followers and dedicated priests. What I don't have, however, is a fresh perspective. Will you set aside your personal goals for a time and become the eyes and ears of a god? Uh, sure, I guess. Good. I need assistance to investigate a strange phenomenon that the ancestor confirmed may indeed be a problem. We'll start with a simple divination ritual. Archcanon Tarvis can tell you what we need to delve into this mystery. Mm. Probably not. The Daedric Prince. I suppose the same events that concern me might interest Azura, though she could just as easily be the source of these troubles. Red Mountain, Strange Daedra, and then there's... Well, we'll talk more about that when you return. Sure. I guess the adventure continues then, till the next time.